This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third party plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this excerpt, I highlight one of the plugins that I talked about. DFX is a package of filters from Tiffin at tiffin.com slash tiffin dash DFX slash. It's available at their website, supports Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro 10, and Avid. The entire package is $499.95. They have a free trial available. What it does is it simulates 2,000 Tiffin glass filters and effects, 131 filters with thousands of presets. Now, if you've ever worked with Tiffin filters in front of your camera, you know how good their glass filters are. They are industry leading. What this software allows you to do is to fix in post what you should have shot in production. There are some amazing effects that we can achieve with DFX. I'm gonna show you some of them. Oh, let's just try glimmer glass. Let's uh, try that. And no, oh, let's, yeah, we'll do that. Glimmer glass, drop it in. And notice how before with glimmer from universe, we got a star filter effect. Here, we got a softening, skin softening and general lightening of the image. Take a look at the difference between the effect off, perfectly okay, the effect on, softer, warmer, more romantic. Well, let's take this a step farther. Here, for instance, this, by the way, is another shot that came from Pond 5 when you download the 50 free clips. I'm going to select this clip, and we're going to go to a different category of Tiffin, and this one is going to be grad filters and tints. I'm going to grab the color grad filter, drag it on, and it's applied a two tone filter yellow at the top clear at the bottom to give us this this hazy look except i don't want it to be yellow select the clip go to color grad twirl down the grad itself this allows you to set where the grad is located filters allow you to change the color click the color chip change it to blue sky right around in here click ok and now we've darkened the sky, added it to be a bit blue, but it goes too close to the horses. So I'm going to change the vertical dimension to be 600 so that the blue color just covers the sky and we get a nice soft shifting from blue into clear as we move into the foreground with the horses. Ah, uh, nice, but there's still even more interesting stuff that we can do. Let me show you. ProMist. Tiffin is legendary for its ProMist filter. What ProMist does is it softens skin without forcing the black levels to rise. And the way we get there is we go to Diffusion and we select ProMist and drop it on top. Notice how we get that same brightening that we got with the diffusion filter before, but we're retaining the black level and we're retaining shadow detail. But here's what I really like about this. It's this little icon right there. When you click it, it opens up the Tiffin interface and loads that shot into the interface so you can now click on different types of ProMist. This is with a cool look. Or this is ProMist where you're just adding a little bit of softening or a ton of softening. Or you can start with a warming filter. Notice how it's gotten even more orange in it. And we can go from not a lot to a medium amount to just way past over the top softening. Look at the glow that we're getting in her hair. Look at the soft highlights bouncing off the light. This ability to see a whole bunch of templates and pick the one that you like the best for what you want to create without even having to mess with the controls on the right-hand side of the screen, makes it easy for you to dial in exactly the look that you want. And if you want to create your own look, you can do that by adjusting the controls on the right side of the frame. These allow us to say, take a look at it with and without the filter, or to give us split screens, you see, without and with, so you can better compare what you're doing, so you can see the before and after is what I'm struggling to say. Click it again to turn it back off. But there's one more thing I want to show you that's really quite cool. I call this other stuff. Okay, now, first thing that I want to do is
Okay, I want to go back to this, turn glimmer glass off. Here's another thing we can do. We can add a filter which under Here I've got a nice two shot, except this wall back here is kind of dead. I want to spice that wall up with something, but I can't rebuild the set. I'm in post. The whole set's been destroyed. How do I fix it? We can add something under um, lighting called Gobo. Gobo is a pattern which is projected on the wall. Notice this pattern right there. Again, click our control icon to open up the interface, and you see this square dot right there. Grab the square dot, and you can drag the Gobo off to the side. Click this dot, and we can rotate it just a little bit. We can deform the cast shadow. We can change it from being an additive to a screen, which softens it a little bit. And we can also add just a little bit of blur so it's there, but your eye is not saying, oh, what a beautiful gobo that's thrown on the back wall. And look at the options that we've got. I could change the gobo to different patterns. I can get distortion based on the gobo. I can trim this so that it doesn't go against her. This gobo there would be probably not a real good idea. But we could look at our choices. I mean, here, I'll just pull that off to the side. Okay, we've got a, a skylight coming in. Totally clears her, but look at how it's, it's really helped pop that back wall as being something as opposed to just simply a dark brown surface behind. Click this, and there it is right there. The plugins are from Tiffin. They're called DFX, and you can learn more at tiffin.com. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 148. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.